Scott. <laughs> Educators are expecting more deep and painful cuts now that lawmakers are working to close a $21 billion budget shortfall. But in the midst of all of that, there is a story of hope. NBC Bay Area's Chris Sanchez introduces us to a San Jose parent whose generosity was enough to make a bunch of teens rap about books. As far as YouTube videos go, this isn't the most shocking, certainly not the most viewed, but it is among the most sincere. Pioneer High School honors chemistry students rapping about their textbooks. We kind of talk about the books and we say how good it is and we compare it to the old ones. Yeah. It's a good rap. Well, you look at the video and you kind of can't help but laugh a little bit, but the rap, it was just a really creative way to say thank you. Thanks to a classmate's father for a $10,000 gift. He gifted us new textbooks since ours were really old. So we got a class set and we each got our own to take home. More than 100 books in all to replace ones that were 19 years old, three years older than the students who used them. The periodic table in the old textbook was missing probably 30 elements simply because they hadn't been discovered back when that textbook was made because it was so old. It's a donation Dale Swanson wouldn't talk about, except he wants to encourage other parents to step up. And give what you can, when you can. You know, be it 50 bucks, be it $100, be it $20, doesn't matter, it all helps at the fundraisers or if you can make a donation towards a specific class like I did and there's a lot of other classes out there that need help. This is not the only generous contribution from a parent that we've heard of recently. Just last week a Fremont mother donated 4% of her salary to the Fremont Unified School District encouraging employees in that district to take a similar pay cut. That generosity is something that Dale Swanson would like to see more of. I will continue to do it, and I hope others step in and help out as well, because these are our kids. This is our future. And the future, at least for that honors chemistry class at Pioneer, looks pretty bright. Thank you, Mr. Swanson. Um, thank you for the donation. Just a good thank you, and it means a lot to us. Chris Sanchez, NBC Bay Area News. And this is not a one-time effort on the part of Dale Swanson. In the past, he has also donated to Pioneer High School. That was last year, buying them track, the track team new uniforms. Schools need so much help. It's, it's, it's good that some folks, if they're able to, can yeah, step up and help a little bit. Stepping in yeah. and helping out the community. Absolutely. Time now is up. 619. Mike. This morning, he's got a new accident to uh, warn you about, hoping to help people get around that. Yeah, hopefully we can help out in at least a small fashion, because I can't help the fact that there's major front-end damage reported to one of the vehicles involved in this accident. This is in your commute direction, westbound 80 on the East Shore Freeway, right around Powell Street in Emeryville. That's where things really start to get congested. The speed sensors are not yet showing.